Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, that way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. If you're just looking to find something to charge your batteries while you're going down the road or when the sun is out, there always seems to be a question, solar panels. The question is, how do I hook up a solar panel to the battery and what are the items I need? So here are the four items you need in order to hook up a solar panel to your battery. First item, of course, you need a solar panel. Now here's the thing we need to know about solar panels. They don't send the voltage down to your battery or they don't send 12 volts down to your battery. Solar panels are designed to catch a maximum of voltage depending on sun strike, but that voltage varies. And so you can buy whatever size panel you want. Some panels, they're all rated, but some panels may produce 20 volts. Some panels may produce 30 volts, 40 volts, and so on. Well, we all know that that voltage is way too high to charge a 12 volt battery. So the second item we need, of course, is a solar controller. Guys, it's kind of like your converter. Now your converter, we know, takes 120 volts and steps it down to 12. These solar controllers, MPPTs, maximum power point tracking, what they'll do is they'll take that random voltage that's coming from the solar panel and produce battery voltage, okay? Now in between the two, we need some type of disconnect, okay? If we're working, anytime we're actually working on that solar controller or anything else, we need to be able to turn off the power coming down from the solar panels and you can't tell the sun to stop shining. Well, I guess you could, but it's kind of like talking to your wife. So we don't want that high voltage coming down and hitting us, so we need some type of disconnect. So you're looking for what's called a DC breaker. That's item number three. And then finally, you want to go ahead and add it to your battery, right? We got to go ahead and charge the battery up. So we want to take it from the output of our solar controller over to the battery. Now this is a simple design. There's some other things that we can do. Send it over to a you know, bus bar or anything else, but you know what? I've got a class for that. This is just simple. So the four items you need, again, is a solar panel, a disconnect, the solar controller, and then of course your batteries. And I guess I should say you need wires. So of the four things, there's five that you need because of course you need cable. If you'd like just a little bit more information, we did a video with Big Truck, Big RV. So just click right over here to this link. This is where we're going to put it. Don't put it over here. Click right here and you can watch a 40 minute video and kind of walk you through it. So that's what you need in order to charge your battery. Now with your solar controller, that's where you got to tell it, hey, look, I'm at 12 volts, everything else. And just depending on Sunstrike, you are charging your batteries. And here's the thing, if your batteries are already charged, that solar controller will know it and know you won't overcharge your batteries. Again, simple, down and dirty. There's your tech tip. So we get some questions and we see that, uh, hmm. do that again. What I need to do is like move my lips like, and then voice it over. I've seen you've been practicing. <laughs> I too know Kung Fu. <laughs> no, we don't. Go ahead, hit the like button right now. Subscribe, like, well, no, like is over here. Hey, we're looking at all your searches. That's right, we're big government. We're seeing what you guys are searching out there. It's there and it's free. Didn't cost you anything. Get out of here, why are you still here? Go.